Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Tiled. Now, Tiled is a popular open source map editor. I've covered it a couple of times in the past on this channel, including a full tutorial series. So if you want to learn more about it, do be sure to check that out. The reason why we're talking about Tiled today is because Tiled 1.9 was just released. Now, this is a very battle-tested tool. This was actually used to create games such as Axiom Verge and Shovel Knight. And what you see in front of you, this is Tiled. So we're going to go a quick look at Tiled in action, and then we're going to jump in and take a look at what is new in the 1.9 release. Now, if you never worked with a tiled-based map editor, it's pretty straightforward. What you do is you create a tiled set, like this guy right here. It's a number of images. Uh, it can also be put together in an atlas or a single image uh, that you then use to paint your object. So here you can see we've got a number of different layers that we can draw, and you basically start drawing your scene like so. Uh, the ability to paint with tiles makes it so that your components are uh, more reusable and also cuts down on the resource fingerprint of your overall game. Now, tiled is able to create a number of different game styles. For example, uh, you can create hexagonal uh, maps if you so wish. Uh, you can also create object-based maps. So this one actually takes a different approach. So instead of using tiled, it's using a set of objects that have been defined. So it's basically just like you can use uh, whatever kind of sprites you want. Basically just start placing them in your world in an object layer uh, and you can start painting using objects. Like you see here, these torch references are objects. It also has the ability to set um, properties of objects in here. You can set custom properties of things. So you can use this to say, uh, you could have your hero object over here and you can set properties on your hero, such as hit points equals 42 or whatever. So you've got um, the ability to also set properties of your object. We also got some advanced modes here. As you can see, we've got uh, an isometric mode here, but what we also got is terrain painting. So here are the tiles that go together to create it. And when you've got um, water and um, grass that come together we'll go down here to the train set and we'll start painting in water you'll notice it automatically verges the edge and it makes things kind of seamlessly work so see here we got little bits inside that have no grass now i can switch to grass painting mode and we can paint it this way this is a process called auto tiling or this is actually called train sets uh, but there is a process called auto tiling which is a big part of what is in the 1.9 release so uh this is a very capable engine capable of doing again hexagraphic isometric and perspective based uh or orthographic based maps um you easily just basically import in your maps, create your various different layers up here, uh, paint within your layers. Uh, it's all Z order based. So if you do uh, a layer in front of another layer, it will paint on top of it. You've got size, uh, ability to set up multiple different uh, tile sizes with ease. You've also got the ability to do things like set um, polygonal shapes in the scene. So I could create polygons uh, in our world. So I could do clip maps and so on. Uh, so I could define where you can walk and where you cannot walk using uh, boundary polygons guns and so on and as i mentioned earlier on there's also tools in here for setting object properties so if you want when your game imports it later on you can set the the details of your game in action speaking of which there's also support for a number of different game engines as we will see in just a second so here we are uh this is the tiled announcement by the way tiled is available at mapeditor.org this is the 1.9 release the big thing here is auto mapping or pattern based tile placement uh this was reduced it was first introduced like tiled 0.6 uh, but has been updated quite a bit since the entire algorithm rewrite making it many times faster so they're saying it is now 10 to 30 times faster and no longer causes notable delays um, in addition the auto map while drawing option no longer creates separate undo steps instead seamlessly integrates any changes into the paint up um, operations. So you can see here it's interacting with this light source here. So it's automatically picking the appropriate tiles uh, where it uh, makes sense and interacts with that object. So it's a way of painting and have it automatically using a set of special rules, determine which tiles will go next to other tiles and so on. The actual process is way beyond what I want to get into in this video, but the documentation has been updated so you can get in and find details of all of the uh, tile map ruling for the new auto tiling system or the auto mapping system. But the auto mapping being 10 to 30 times faster is definitely a nice setup. We also have uh, the support for custom scripted dialogues. Uh, so scripted extensions can now build their own custom dialogues. So you can have a lot more configurability in what you can do. Nice thing is since you can set these um, these dialogues yourself, you can also turn this more into your level creation tool going forward. Uh, the project setup was simplified. Uh, object types have been merged into property types, uh, now called custom types. Um, 
And there's new tile set options, uh, including it basically you can set it based off grid size or the tile sized now. Uh, and there's a new fill mode that was added to tile sets that can be either stretch or preserve the aspect ratio. Uh, and then a number of other smaller changes in this particular release. So that is the release notes for uh, Tiled 1.9. Again, the auto mapping algorithm rewrite is definitely the biggie here. Uh, if you want, just drill down into here. And like I said, there is documentation. Auto mapping is not a super trivial thing. So here's the documentation on setting it up and how it works. This is not something I'm going to cover in this video. It is a fairly complex task, uh, but it is entirely documented here. Now, one thing I would love to see is for uh, Tile to start shipping with more examples on how to actually use these newest features. That way people can kind of jump in and learn more. By the way, it's a very well documented project. As you can see here, they've got walkthrough of everything you need to work with it. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, there is support for multiple different languages and game engines. So you here you can see some of the uh, libraries and frameworks supported here. You've got a couple of C loaders, a couple of C++ based loaders, C Sharp, um, Lisp, Clojure, D, uh, Go, Haskell, Java, PHP, Pike, Processing, Python, Ruby, Rust, Vala. And then in terms of game engines that support it, uh, we've got Allegro and Bevy are in here, Castle is in here, Cocos 2D. Game Maker, the Godot game engine, has multiple different implementations for it there. There's a number for hack-based game engines, a number of HTML5 game engines, including Phaser, one of my favorites. IRR Licked has one, um, LibGDX, Love, Moa, uh, you name it, it probably has an experience extension or an add-on for working. We have about seven of them for the Unity game engine. Uh, unfortunately, Unreal Engine's 2D support has always been a little bleh, so we just have the one via Paper 2D. Uh, but yeah, so you could basically use a tile-based map in just about any engine you wish. You can also export as, as like an easy-to-use JSON format. So if you're working with your own game objects, it works quite easily that way as well. So you can implement this into your own project. And again, you have a number of these loaders that should make it really easy. So if your game project is C++ based. There's a number of different parsers out here that will get you up and running easy. So if you want a world editor for your own custom game engine, or if you're working with another game engine and you don't necessarily like the world editing tools, Tiled is definitely an option for you. Um, as I mentioned earlier on, it uh, was used to make several different games. Uh, so you see, again, Shovel Knight and Axiom Verge are some of the, the more prominent ones, but Carrion, Coromon, uh, and so on. Number of games up on... Uh, itch.io as well. So you got some of the details of what Tiled is capable of. So multi-tiled layer editing, uh, flexible object layers. You can have large worlds that grow infinitely as needed. Uh, you have a uh, project-based workflow. It's extensible via the JavaScript programming language. And now again, with that new dialogue support, it should be even uh, easier to create uh, more involved tools. So you can kind of turn Tiled into your game engine um, world editor of choice, if you so wished. Uh, this is an open source project. I'm in the round repository here, but if you go to mapeditor.org, you're going to find there is a section here for extensions, but Tiled is available right here. Uh, it was just updated, so this came out over the weekend. Um, it is under the... Um, GNU public license of GPL v3. Uh, as long as you're not making changes to the tiled map editor yourself, that license has no effect on how you make your game or anything like that. But if you do make changes to tiled, you have to share them back uh, with the main repository. Uh, so that is one of the things to know about GPL. So you can't basically turn this into your own commercial project like you could with something like MIT Zlib or Apache license. So do be aware, the GPL license, if you are uh, mucking with the code of um, tiled itself, you should be aware of those issues. If you're just doing extensions or just using it as an end user, you don't care about the source code license at all. Uh, but for those that do, uh, it is under the GPL v3 license. It's a very actively updated project. Uh, it's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, definitely uh, an interesting project. Again, the auto tiling update is here. Uh, that's tiled 1.9 in the tiled 1.9 released. If you're interested in checking out tiled, it is also available on itch.io, by the way, as download, but you can grab it at mapeditor.org. Uh, it's uh, one of those seminal open source projects in the world of game development. It's sort of like uh, Kenny NL is to assets, Tiled is to map making. Although there are more, um, like LDTK, uh, there are more level editors coming out these days. And the level editing tools in game engines, such as the Godot tile-based editors, have gotten a whole lot better. Uh, ditto with Uni. Uni are definitely improving their inbuilt tools. Uh, so Tiled is going to have to uh, keep offering more to keep up in this world because it's got more and more competition. I'm curious to hear what what uh, tiled level editor do you use? Do you use tiled based maps at all? Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. 
Goodbye.